welcome to my channel thank you for coming back I'm Lisa and today I am scrapping with the leftovers of my April Coco Daisy kit I am super super tired I don't know what's wrong with me I think it's staying up too late and getting up too early I've just got so much to do at the moment so excuse the coffee it's very much needed today um, I am working on a project that I've been meaning to work on for absolutely ages I was working on my Scrap 365 album, um, let me just show you. So this is like my Project Life album, I've been keeping it for the past few years. My intention was never to um, document every single week though, it was just as and when I felt. I knew I wouldn't be able to keep it up that way and it would just give me stress and instead I feel that scrapbooking and documenting is supposed to bring pleasure not stress so I wanted to do it at my own time at my own pace and when it suited me um, that being said um, I don't always get a document as, as often as I would like to as you can see there that's not finished um, I don't even know where that page has come from it was just set on the top but um, I've just been kind of keeping it up this was 2013 and it's just been going throughout the years um, a few pieces have fallen out but um yeah so this is where I was at but um I just haven't been keeping up with it and I'm really sad because I do love looking back it's a really really fun way to document um, but it's very time consuming actually you'd think that obviously creating just these smaller pages is um, less time consuming but I did actually find it much more time consuming so I've been trying to figure a way of keeping up with it because I do feel sad that it has been quite some time that I've worked on this um, so I've decided my way forward is to work on a smaller scale I feel that the big 12 by 12 is just a bit too big for me at the moment I've got so much going on and I've neglected it completely so rather than give up um, I put my thinking cap on and I'm going to go with a smaller album I'm nearly to the end here and then you can see where I left the album so this was the last time and my goodness I didn't realize it was that long ago that was going to see Star Wars um, Christmas Eve 2015 and then I've documented Christmas um, so that really was the last time I wonder if this was then after maybe that was after here I don't know so that's a long time I really didn't realize it was that long so fast forward to April 2017 and here I am with my much smaller version as you can see this is a snap binder from simple stories um, I think it's eight I was going to say 8x8 eight eight, but I don't think it is, that's certainly not square is it? This is 7 inches by 8 and a half inches as you can see there. So I guess the binder is 8x8, eight eight. well kind of. So I think this maybe is going to be the way forward for me because I certainly don't want to give up on the documenting like I was doing. So it is fun to look back. So I've got the scraps here, these are my leftovers from my Coco Daisy April kit and I do think sometimes that scraps and leftovers are a really good way to document and use up bits and pieces. I've printed off a load of these tiny little 2x2 two two photos that I've taken on my phone and I've got bits and pieces from my Coco Daisy A Day in the Life kit and I'm just going to scrapbook and have fun. So my the idea is, let me just show you, I've, there's different types of plastic wallets. I've chosen these ones here from Simple Stories. You've got three across the uh, middle there and then some larger squares. And I'm just going to start by filling it in. I'm not going to try and go back. Um, I think what I'll do is just scrapbook or document from this time forward. And then if I do want to go back, I can. All my photos are really well filed I am pretty good at that actually although I'm pretty rubbish at most things when it comes to I do try to be organized but it's I don't always quite manage it as I would like but my photos are organized so I'm just going to start by jumping straight into April 
It's been a really busy month, but a nice busy month, and I've really achieved so much. I've really been trying to get organised, and I've been really working in different areas of the house. It's quite a good one to start with, actually. I'm going to start with these two photos here because I've been doing lots of organisation in my studio and lots of organisation in my kitchen, just um, kind of redoing things, reorganising things, lots of decluttering, um, that kind of thing. And I've got this page here. This is from Pink Fresh. And um, these, I thought these squares would go really nicely in there. So I'm going to decide which ones I'm going to use and I'm going to cut them out. I've used my photos as templates to cut out the squares using the leftover Coco Daisy papers from the Day in the Life kit. I really love this. I've decided now, that was the other thing I forgot to say, I've decided rather than start this with April, I'm actually going to have an intro page and actually have this as my first page when you open up the album. So I really like this card here. It's one of the Day in the Life cards, but I'm going to trim it down to actually pop behind here. I think that will work quite well. So I'm just going to carry on and create. This is my first page, that's the opening page that you see. So life in pictures, hello life, busy, 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 that kind of thing. I'm then going to go on and create for April. I know that obviously this is going to be the front page. It could be that I go back and document some of the other months of this year, which I would really like to do. In that case, all I will do is just then remove the little pieces into the next one. So they're not stuck in, so they can easily be moved. I do want to document how busy we've been this month, so I'm going to use the photos of me decluttering and reorganising. So I'm using a couple of the cards for journaling. I've journaled on this one about how well they've done this month, their achievements. I'm going to journal on this one in just a moment. Now I've decided I want to use this and I want to use this. This will need to be trimmed down very slightly, but I do want a bit more color just to go with the page. So I'm going to take out my pens here and just go round few times with the colours on the page to match. I like sometimes adapting things so that they fit in with what I'm doing and using and hopefully this will add the colour that I need. There we go, that's all it needs and I just need to trim that down so it fits the page and journal here. That's made such a difference to that card, don't you agree? And I've just trimmed it off so it fits but obviously you can still read the word life there. I'm really pleased with how that's gone and um, just adds a bit more colour to my page. I've then journaled on this one about Louis's last football game of the year and how well he's played. Now I just feel this needs a little bit more decoration so I'm just going to have a look at this. I'm just 
going to use a little sticky foam tape for the back and I think I'll go around with a black pen as well just so it stands out a little bit more it doesn't need to be perfect I like that kind of rough doodly look there we go that let's go over twice so that's another page done this is definitely a quicker way to document that's for sure and while I'm on a roll let's go over to the next page and I'm going to carry on so I want to use this Easter memories card here I'm going to document our Easter however the card is too big for the pockets this is the size that I want here so what I'm going to do I'm going to trim down the top and bottom I've trimmed down pretty much as much as I can but it's still too big as you can see so I'm going to cut in half now I'm going to keep these pages together, um, even if I moved things around, these would still stay together as they're both April. So I'm actually sticking things um, back to back so that they stay together and don't move around too much. So now I am going to stick this card to the back of the other one and pop that together like that. Now obviously that join is rather visible and not so pretty. So I'm going to stick this over the top. We had a very simple basic Easter and the sticker works really well. So I'm quite pleased with that. It's a puffy sticker. I do like puffy stickers. They're really fun to play with. And then I've got that pocket done. So I've messed this one up a little bit. Um, as you can see, if I stick this on, it's going to be black. I don't think I really want the back up black on my page, so I'm going to need to improvise a little. I've got this card here, which I wouldn't use the back of. It's really not me, so I'm going to stick that over the top and trim it down. I don't want to see any of the yellow on the other side. As you can see, that's trimmed off both sides now. I can then stick this one in place and I'm just going to trim that down again as at the moment there's still a little bit there. As they've been stuck together they won't be moving around in the pocket and it just looks much tidier so I'm pleased with that. I'm going to use the love here and trim that down and this one I'm going to use for journaling. So I just think I need to add one more thing to make this page a little bit more interesting and I've got quite a few of these pretty little studio flags left over so I'm going to use the blue one here. I think the colour goes quite well with my page. I'm just going to trim that down, stuck that at the top there and I am going to stick one of these. Which one should we do? Let's do a hello. Actually rise and shine seeing as it's Easter. That kind of makes sense doesn't it? Let's have that one there. Actually move this over slightly so that I can pop it in the centre and I'm pretty much done then. I've really enjoyed doing this, like I said this is the first time that um, I'm scrapbooking using these. Should we pop that on as well? With or without? No, I'm going to go without. Um, these pockets and I'm really really enjoying it these pages have come together really quickly. I'll leave a link below so you can see where I bought the album from. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with this, so let's just have a quick look. My intro page, and then we've got April, just my general decluttering, my spring cleaning, how well the kids are doing. I need to trim off these photos, I can see the white underneath a little bit and that's bothering me, so I'll trim those down in a minute. Just how well they're doing, the end of their Easter term at school. And then our Easter memories, again, once I trim those off, I'm going to do that right now because it's really bothering me. Um, it would just look so much neater. Probably nobody else will notice, but I know they're there and it will bug me. So I am going to do that. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this. My first little bit of scrapbooking with my new snap pockets from Simple Stories. I'll leave some photos and I shall see you soon. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and please subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.